Ah, this foo's so stupid. Even Donald Trump wouldn't do something that stupid. Huey? Your grandfather and I are gonna be going to the concert, so you and Riley behave yourselves. Sure, Ida. Huey, are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah. You 2020s youngsters and y'all MTV shows. Only if time can rewind back to the 60s and 70s. Yo, Huey, um, you got a couple of tens? What am I, your bank? Hell no, nah, I ain't got no tens. Oh boy. This concert is going to be exciting. Man, I wish you guys were old enough to come with us. You guys would have loved it. Granddad, who you going to see dressing like Bill Glover? For your information, I'm going to go see one of my favorite songwriters. And who's that, Prince? No, not Prince. Ida and I are gonna go see James Brown. James Brown? I thought he was dead. Wait a minute, Huey, you're right. James Brown is dead. So if we're talking about James Brown being dead, who are we going to see? She probably told you you guys are gonna see Deuce Bigelow the European Gigalo. You probably just wasn't listening. Riley, shut up. Yay, go read a book. Negro, I don't read books. I'm a rapper. Rappers never read. I'm a go make me a milkshake. Yay, bring me back some chips. You get them. I ain't yo damn slave. Come on, Robert. Let's get there before the concert gets packed. Ida, it's only 7.30. The concert doesn't start till an hour and a half. I know that. I want us to get there first. Come on, let's go. Uh, all right. Huey, like I tell you all the time, you are in charge. Now you take care of this house, and I don't want to get back here and there's chaos. Don't mind me, Granddad. I always have things under control. You guys have fun. We will. Let's go, Robert. Hello. Oh, hey, Tatiana. I thought I wasn't gonna hear from you again. Well, my granddad and his old gal is at a concert, and they got the crib to myself. You gonna come by tonight? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go too crazy. Save it for when you get here. Yay, Riley is here. He's in the kitchen. Well, yeah, he could be a little cold-blooded, but at the same time, He's my lil bro and we look out for each other. Speaking of cold, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. I'm freezing. Hey Riley, are you cold? Damn it, Riley. How many times Granddad and Ida have to tell you stop coming in here with the lights off? I can tell this dude ain't gonna know how to cook in the future. You know I was thinking something. What were you thinking? If they ever made a crime show in Plotted Town, it'd be so cool if we were on TV and we didn't know. I'm kinda not understanding. So say if there was a show going live, right? And the camera people just tell you you're a pop star. Riley, what the hell are you doing in here? Were you under the bed the whole time? Yep. Huey, you need to fix that bed. I don't know if you gained weight from yo ass or somebody over 300 pounds slept on it. Cause dad hurt my back. Shouldn't have been under it. I mean what the hell were you doing under the bed anyway? Playing the nap under the bed game? No that's not what I was doing. I was looking for my basketball before you and Tatiana got back in the bed. But I fainted. That explains the crazy snoring I kept hearing. Yeah you kept saying that was me. I kept telling you that wasn't me. Another thing. I don't snore. Oh please Huey. You snore. I never snore. How you know? You can't listen to yourself sleep. Okay smart kid. Name a night you remember hearing me snore in my sleep. 
Okay. What about on June 30th, 2018? It was Saturday. We was at the movies after you ate three corn dogs, drunk five cups of lemonade, ate two bags of Twizzlers. You passed out and granddad had to wake you up because you was snoring loud like a cow. I said night, not evening. And that movie was boring. I wasn't gonna sit up and watch that crap. Huey, we was watching the emoji movie. Look, I'ma deal with him for a minute, then we can get back to watching TV. No, it's okay. I gotta get home anyway. I'll see you later. Okay, baby. Okay, punk. What was your point of coming in my room? I was trying to let you know something's up with Ida. So you had to sleep under my bed? Y'all the ones that just found out I was under there. But seriously, what could possibly be up with Ida? I don't know, but we should go check if she's okay. Okay. Another thing, we was watching Uncle Drew that evening, not the emoji movie. How you figure? Uncle Drew came out the day before we went to go see it. The emoji movie came out in 2017. Really? Yay. I must be trippin'. Huey do something if I'm trippin'. Okay. Ow. I didn't mean slap me. Then what did you mean? Hey Ada, what you doing? Nothing, just looking at my receipts on a bank app. Huey, we need to talk. Have a seat. What's the problem? Just have a seat. Now as you can see I'm going through a money problem, and your granddad doesn't know. You're having problems with money? Yes. I've been spending money really crazy, and I'm unemployed at this very moment. So how you be getting? Now that's not my business. Look I just want you to do me a quick favor, don't mention this to your grandfather. Not even really? No I'm going to go tell him to. Your grandfather can't know, now are we clear? Yes Ida. Here is twenty dollars. You can tell your grandfather. Why not? You want your granddad to know he's marrying a poor lady? Yes! I mean, no! I don't want him to know your poor side. Now you're talking. Twenty dollars? Make that forty. Now I take the twenty. You know you teenagers act like gangsters with all that hustling. Just back me up, okay? If not, give me back my money. Okay, Ada. I'll keep this a secret. It'll stay between me and you. Huey already knows. Ida. I'm waiting. Damn it, Robert. You got grandkids in the house. Couldn't you put on pants first? At least I'm wearing underwear. I'll be in the room. Okay. What was Ida talking about with you? Nothing. Nice pink panties. What's up, Grandad? What you up to today? Nothing much. Just gonna make a bucket of fried chicken. Sounds delicious. May Riley and I try some? Make your own damn fried chicken. I'll be in the kitchen. Okay, sure. What's up, G? What's up, little kid? Where granddad? In the kitchen making him a bucket of fried chicken. None for us? No. Not even for Ida? Go in there and ask him and watch what he'll say. BRB. AG, can I have some fried chicken? Get the hell out of here, boy. Grouchy mother slugger. Look, I've been thinking about Ida's money situation. Me too, brah. How can Ida be such a go-getter? No, seriously. I think I got a plan. We sell all the old electronics and other stuff in this crib. Just what I was thinking. Is that what we gon' do? No. Granddad loves this stuff. We can't just get rid of everything. Well, what can we do? Wait a minute, I got those shoes I ain't worn in five years. I can sell those. Riley, who in the hell is gone want 2014 Jordan Manchu Fly basketball shoes? Um. Marlins. Hey, that's true. We'll go sell our old clothes to Marlin. I got a lot of stuff I'm selling. Huey? 
I'm going to make a few errands. Where is your grandfather? He's in the kitchen. Okay, if he asks where am I, say I'm at work, okay. We'll do that later. Okay, hugs. I'm Riley. Bye, Ada. Can I get a hug? How you know if I might be gone all day or not? I'm just messing with you, Ada. You know I love you, woman. Yeah, sure. I'll be back. Man, when Marlon see we selling all these old shirts, pants, shoes, hats, jewelry. Man, he's gone be like dumb. Well, let's just see what he gone do. Man, Huey, if Granddad heard that Ida was having problems with money, I wonder what would he do? Probably kick her to the curb, that's for sure. SSSH. Yay. You know Granddad don't really go after broke bitches. Yeah, that's true. So, Huey, what we gon' do when we collect all this paper? We gon' give the paper to Ida. What? I said we gon' give the money to Ida. But. But why? This is our stuff we're selling. Well, Ada's having money trouble, and like her blood grandkids do, we us her step grandkids gon' take care of her. No, no, no. I'm not gonna give all my paper to Ida. I'm keeping my paper phone myself. Giving it to Ida, Negro, are you trippin'? Riley, don't be so janky. Ida needs the money. Who knows she might repay us in the future. I'm not selling my stuff just to donate all my money to Ida's wealth. You know what? Pull this car over. For what? I'm getting my things out of the trunk and selling them to someone else and keeping my own paper. Okay, fine. I should kill you. I didn't even get to get my things out of the trunk. Well, you shouldn't have got out of the car, then you wouldn't have to walk. Or run whatever the hell you did. Can he help you boys? Yay. Yeah. Where's Marlon? What he meant to ask is, do you guys have any... Tomato sauce? He think we're all out at the moment, but yes if you guys do ask the boss, maybe I'll know when we'll be able to have them back in stock. Okay ma'am, and is the manager in right now? Yes is in the back, I'll get him. See, you have to have on a top when you're in the store. Listen, woman. I've ran almost... 20 blocks. From my crib. To this store. If you want me to put on a top. You gon' have to let me stand in one of your freezers. So I can have energy. And let me catch my breath. First of all, take your hands off of me. My bad. Second of all, put on a top like he told you or he called the cops. Fine. Listen Marlon, we got all this stuff we used to wear years ago, brah. And Riley and I wanted to see if we can sell it all to you. Look Huey, my bratha, that is a lot of things. But unfortunately, I don't think I can afford all this. What? But you turned this back office into a place where people sell their old clothes and jewelry. Yeah, that's the thing. Wanna in the front almost caught me buying something from a couple of people months ago. Hold on Marlon, you supposed to be the manager of the store and you telling us you won't buy any of this because of your Mexican client? Hey I can get fired for this, I can end up unemployed, I don't have time for that. Will this gold stainless steel watch change your mind? Or this platinum blinkage? This Adidas sweatsuit? Or these 2014 Jordan Mentru Fly basketball shoes? That is some good stuff y'all trying to sell. Man, I'll take it. Alright. Now you talking. Baby. I've been waiting for you. Where you been all day? Running errands. Robert, we have to talk. About what? About money problems. Well? Robert, we need to slow down on spending money. What are you talking about? Wish I can tell you easily, but it's hard for me to tell you. What's for you to tell? I was looking at my bank and it shows we spent a half a million dollars in three months. 
What? Last time we spent money that crazy was when that day was when we rented that boat for the vacation we was doing during the last summer. Five hundred grand. We spent five hundred thousand dollars in three months. You know what, Huey and Riley? Gets your asses down here. Hey, Granddad, we home. How was the fried chicken? Damn the chicken. We need to talk about money business. Huey. What do you have in that bag? Um. Napkins? Okay, go put the napkins in the bathroom. Okay, Granddad. We'll go together. Freeze. You stay where you are. But I am. Um, I got the BGs. Well, try to hold it in. I've had plenty of bubble guts and I've held them good. Now something I need to tell you. We've been spending money really crazy, and we need to slow down. Do we understand? Yes, sir. It's understood, Granddad. Okay, now get out of my face, I'm missing golf. That's it. You tell Huey to go put the bag of napkins upstairs, and you tell us to slow down on spending money, and you tell me to get out of here? Did I tell you to move back to Chicago? No. What did I tell you to do? Go upstairs. Well, bye. I have $435. I have $639. Did you sell more than me? I don't know. What did you sell? I sold four gold chains, my only one platinum chain, a pair of my old shoes, a few shirts and some pants. I sold some shirts, pants, shoes, my gold watch, and a pair of 100 socks. You sold a 100 socks? No, weirdo, I sold my 100 socks. Oh, I didn't know. Well here, gave my money to Ida. Oh, I see you're thinking smart. Yay, you was right, I need to stop thinking about myself. Good looking Riley, now you're a helper. Damn! I swear to God Huey next time I'm picking what we doing. Here. What happened with giving the money to Ida? She'll be alright, we got us some money. But you said. Now you're right. We made this, this our paper. Thank you! Rock to the rhythm you don't stop.